This is going to be a short one. Um, I see people posting all the time this golden multiplier event result, and I always am responding. I'm trying to tell people this is rarely ever a good use of your money. Um, how it works is you complete these little quests below, and it will give you some type of a multiplying percentage effect against a base of this $2,000. And if you actually pay five bucks, you get to see what these other ones will unlock to give you this uh, pot of gold, so to speak. Could it get up to 20,000 gold? I've never seen anybody get anything close to that. I don't think I've ever seen anybody get over like 9,000 gold. In that case, you maybe come out slightly ahead, but let me show you a couple of other things that are much more cost effective use for spending uh, money if you want to get gold. So the weekly special of glittering gold, it's almost always a better deal for you. Uh, and I'm going to show you the math and why. So right here you have uh, seven, let's see, one, two, three, you have 11 times 700, so that's 7,700. Side note, isn't it annoying how they just shift through the deals when you're trying to look and calculate their stupid math because they do different numbers of items and things? All right, tangent, gun. So 7,700 plus 1,400, that's going to be 9,100. So you get 9,100 gold for seven bucks. So let's... Do a quick thing right here. 9,100 divided by seven. So you're getting 1,300 gold per dollar spent. Um, basically, like with this other event, you'd have to get, let's see, I think it was 6,500 divided by five. So you have to get a minimum of 6,500 bucks to have matched or broke even um, with this weekly option. Really the best thing though, that I just am gonna show you um, is the monthly card here. So this monthly card right here, the Supreme card, it costs $20. And for 30 days, you're gonna get a thousand gold. You're gonna get some speed ups, meh. You're getting some elite recruitments, that's awesome. to get purple frag officers with the officer heck. But the biggest thing is when you're building your buildings, you're getting uh, a million off and then 80,000 off on the steel. So when you're a smaller city, like approaching like low 20s, that is huge for getting all of your interior buildings up without having to like farm and you can actually save the bulk of your resources for the large main hall upgrades instead of spending a million for, you know, level 17 and on on a lot of these interior buildings. So let's see if we do the math there of getting 30,000 gold divided by 20 bucks, that's 1,500 gold per dollar spent. So this really is the best value to get gold in my opinion, as well as give you so many other benefits. I hope that helps and I hope less people stop participating in this silly event that uh, rarely ever pays anybody out uh, anything useful. Thanks for watching.